Good afternoon, good evening, folks. It's David Schlothauer here in the Home Weather Office with another detailed severe weather briefing for May the 10th, 2023. In this video, we are going to be discussing about tomorrow's severe weather event that could be pretty substantial, especially across central northern Oklahoma and central Kansas, where there could be a couple of strong tornadoes. So with that being said, here's a look at the day two Storm Prediction Center convective outlook for central Oklahoma, as well as much of the high plains, and there is clearly a level 3 out of 5 on the Severity Weather Index scale. This is from Thursday morning through Friday morning, May the 11th through the 12th, and we can see where that enhanced risk of severe weather currently is located. So this could get expanded a little bit more based on latest model guidance, based on what is exactly going to evolve here. But right now, we do have a level 3 out of 5 on the Severity Weather Index scale, and this is driven by a chance of strong tornadoes tomorrow. That is the 10% hatched area for severe weather. This expands all the way across central Oklahoma, across central and southern Kansas. So if you're in this area, you definitely need to be aware for tomorrow because we could have a couple of strong tornadoes within the 10% SIG risk for tornado. All right, then around that, there is a 5% risk for tornadoes. And then around that, there is a 2% risk for tornadoes stretching across northwestern Nebraska into northern Texas, into southeastern portion there of Oklahoma, and the tippy end there of Missouri and northwestern tip of portion there of Arkansas. So this is driven by a 15% risk for strong winds. So not really a big wind threat tomorrow, but instead we're also looking at a hail threat. So if we look at the 10 sig for tornadoes, that's the enhanced, right? But then the rest of the enhanced up here is driven by, we can be looking at two plus inch hailstones. Not only that, we could also see uh, two plus inch hailstones in the 30 sig risk for large hail that is anticipated by the Storm Prediction Center. And then to the north, there is a 15% non-sig for some hail. And to the north of that, across portions there of central uh, Minnesota, also for portions there of Omaha, Nebraska, Sioux Falls there under a 5% risk for some large hail. So definitely a hail and tornado threat tomorrow. And so therefore, we're going to drill down the details here on the NAM 3 kilometer model. And this is going to tell you on what you might be expecting to see tomorrow. So this is, of course, for this afternoon. We do have severe thunderstorms across portions of Colorado, northwestern uh, Texas. But due to the spatial coverage that is fairly narrow and pretty rural, this will preclude a live stream today. But tomorrow, I will be going live on the severe weather. There will not be a video, maybe a morning briefing on my YouTube channel, maybe a shorts video on the severe weather, but then I will be going live tomorrow when this all breaks out. By Thursday morning, we have showers and thunderstorms that are anticipated over uh, northern Louisiana, also for central and southern Arkansas, including for portions there of central and southern portion there of Minnesota, but it's really going to be about tomorrow when this is going to really break out. Now, even so, we don't have a lot of supercells tomorrow. We also don't have the highest probabilities of significant tornado production. So our spatial coverage here is fairly isolated, maybe some scattered activity all, um, across Kansas that does warrant the 10 sig for tornadoes, the 30 sig for large hail, and the 15 for strong winds, but it really won't matter. There is a significant for both hail and tornadoes tomorrow. So if you are in this area, it only takes one supercell, folks, to cause <clears throat> a lot of the problems. So if you are in central Kansas, if you're in western Kansas, if you are in central and southern portion there of Kansas, we do have the risk for tornadoes tomorrow, and some of them, again, could be strong given the fact that we have the shear. That's going to wrap up pretty quickly. In fact, um, perhaps even by 
say nine or 10 o'clock at night, we're going to start seeing things really die off based on our NAM 30 kilometer forecast. Now, another model that I also like to look at is our um, HRRR model. Let's kind of drill through that very quickly. It shows a little less spatial coverage over here across um, Oklahoma. So there is some uncertainty in regards to coverage of storms. But if we do get any supercells that do form along this dry line, we will see a possibility of strong tornadoes and significant hail. Also along this boundary to the north here in central and northern Kansas, we're also looking at a tornado threat too, but not quite as bad as further south into central Oklahoma. So now with that being said, let's take a look at why we are going to see the dynamics. Why are we going to see strong tornadoes potentially tomorrow along to go with some large hail? The first thing that I like to look at is the dew point. This is a measure of how much moisture is in the air. So in this case, we have dew points in the low to mid 70s. That means the air is going to be very hot. It's going to be muggy. It's going to be a lot of water in the air. And so we have some rich um, deep layer moisture that's going to be in place in central and uh, northern portion there of Texas, including for Oklahoma including for Kansas, where we have dew points in the mid to upper 60s. But look at how sharp this dry line actually is. See this right here? This is a really sharp dry line. We got dew points in the 30s and 20s in eastern Texas or western Texas. We also got dew points in the 30s in western Oklahoma. So th therefore, we're going to probably see some sporadic supercells that do form along this dry line, especially from northern Texas into Oklahoma, where we do got a negatively tilted um, shortwave trough. It's going to be in place over here across the, um, the Colorado region. In fact, if we do take a look at the, um, the 500 millibar chart here, we can see there's our shortwave trough there. We have a lot of um, baroclinic ascent here, a lot of forcing uh, along that dry line, along that boundary. We got uh, 50 to 60 knot winds over portions of Oklahoma. So there's going to be a lot of, there's going to be some forcing, some isotropic cooling too in the upper atmosphere. So with that being said, th th there's favorability here. We're going to see a significant severe weather event tomorrow. Not necessarily an outbreak, but it's definitely up there. It's close to being an outbreak, but not necessarily declaring one at the moment on my video. So as much as the sh uh, shear goes, what about the instability? We have plenty of instability. Uh, we're looking at a moderate to strong buoyancy across Kansas, Oklahoma, and northern Texas with um, CAPE numbers or thunderstorm juice anywhere between four to 5,000 joules per kilogram. And so if we get any of these supercells, we're going to see some huge hail production along to go with, again, that tornado threat too across the Oklahoma and Kansas area. But remember, it's going to be scattered to isolated in nature for the most part, as of what I can see. So the day three slight risk is issued on the Storm Prediction Center for a portion there of Iowa also for eastern Nebraska, including for southwestern Texas. So again, another day to watch on our feet for Friday morning through Saturday morning. This is May the 12th, uh, May, yeah, May 12th through the 13th. So again, just keep that in mind. We do have a couple more days. We got tomorrow and we got Friday into Saturday for severe weather. Now, before I do end the video, I want you all to check out TrilogyMaps.com. I am incredibly excited to announce that I'm officially an affiliate with TrilogyMaps.com. The link will be in the description and the pinned comment below. Trilogy Maps has created the highest definition, the most customizable digital maps you can find anywhere online at a highly affordable price. These maps are so customizable due to a very unique layering system that makes it possible to create whatever map you like. Making weather maps that look incredibly professional has never been this easy before. So if you want the highest definition, the most customizable, and the most professional looking weather maps that you can make up for a very affordable price, go ahead and check out TrilogyMaps.com. And again, be sure to use my 20% off discount code by going to TrilogyMaps.com and then entering the code DAVID before finalizing your purchase. And also, there is a spring sale, so go to TrilogyMaps.com to purchase those maps today. But anyways, that is going to do it with today's severe weather briefing for May the 10th, 2023. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. 
I will not be streaming in the office tonight just because of the uh, minute coverage that we're seeing. It's pretty isolated. It's pretty rural. But tomorrow, I will be streaming for a few hours on the severe weather event for the High Plains. So stay tuned for that.